Wow, wow, wow. Bitcoin is pumping. There's so much going on with altcoins, with crypto, with all our favorite projects. In today's video, I'm going to clue you in just like we always do on this channel on a daily basis, news, opinion, perspective. We clue you in, keep you informed. We're going to start with Bitcoin, get into altcoins, talk about the big news, smash the like button. If you appreciate that, let's jump right in. Bitcoin continues to be drained from exchanges. In this case, Coinbase seeing the second biggest day of withdrawals in two years. It is amazing to see the dip continuing to get bought. There's only so much Bitcoin to go around and people continue to buy it. And an even more amazing, more positive metric is this, what we refer to in the industry as the Gini coefficient. The supply of Bitcoin continues to trend in the direction of increased healthy decentralized distribution. Whether we're talking about entities that hold 0.1 Bitcoin or less, 1 Bitcoin or less, 10 Bitcoin or less, or 100 Bitcoin or less, more and more entities are reaching this threshold. The Gini coefficient continues to get better. Bitcoin is getting distributed among the minnows, among the whales. So many people continue to buy. Let's get to some altcoin news. If you are a fan of Ethereum sidechain Polygon, you're going to like this. Polygon Studios bringing in some major talent. Polygon Studios, a Web3 development company focused on Ethereum sidechain Polygon, has hired six executives from prominent tech and gaming companies like Amazon, like EA Games, like Riot Games. Polygon is bringing in tons of amazing talent. Many crypto companies are. Developer talent is always one of the best leading indicators for public market prices. So for me, seeing how the caliber of early stage DeFi teams is again close to all time highs these last few months makes me very <laughs> bullish. And then just speaking about Ethereum, it is pretty wild that Ethereum is switching to proof of stake this year. Many newcomers probably take this for granted, but those of us who've been in the space a while remember when they were talking about this in 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020 is when they launched the beacon chain and proof of stake will happen within the next year. Kudos to all parties involved. Cannot wait for the real thing. Elon Musk tweeting out just yesterday, he will not sell his Bitcoin, he will not sell his Ethereum, he will not sell his Doge, instilling confidence in these three assets to his followers. And once again, if you want 10% off to Bitcoin Miami 2022, 10% off, use our code altcoin daily, we will be there, so many people will be there, hope to see you there, 10% off altcoin daily, let me know if you're going. The fact is, if you truly look into it, you will see that there's just so much building and integrating and just so much happening in cryptocurrency. I'm sure you know, LimeWire partnering with Algorand to power their NFT marketplace. The energy efficient blockchain Algorand will support LimeWire's upcoming NFT marketplace. Huge. Visa just today putting out job listings seeking college graduates for crypto development program. Successful candidates will, among other tasks, define Visa's crypto strategy and identify new product opportunities. In other news, Solana, one of their top NFT marketplaces, Magic Eden, announces a $27 million raise. The takeaway here is Solana NFT marketplaces and Solana NFTs just getting started. Cardano NFTs just getting started. However, the news for Cardano today is about their total value locked. Why Charles Hoskinson thinks we ain't seen nothing yet with total value locked. Now, if you follow it like we do, you know that Cardano total value locked has been growing slowly yet surely nowhere near the total value locked compared to Ethereum, yet still ADA total value locked continues to trend higher. To be more precise, 1.7 million total value locked on January 12th, Cardano was 40th. Two months later, 261 million total value locked and it's 26th. This is only the very beginning for DeFi on Cardano. Many more DEXs and lots of dApps coming soon. Now, Charles Hoskinson reminding the Cardano community, 
What most people don't understand is that many Cardano dApps are waiting for the Vascal hard fork in June to launch and benefit from pipelining. So it seems we ain't seen nothing yet with dApps coming out of Cardano with total value locked, the Vassal hard fork happening in June. Many Cardano people are looking forward to this. Before we get to more altcoins, let me take 60 seconds and turn you on to a major opportunity that most people in crypto do not realize they can take advantage of. This can benefit most crypto holders and traders greatly. And this opportunity is through a sponsor of ours, Choice App. So if you're unfamiliar, Choice App enables you to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and thousands of other traditional assets, including 22 and counting crypto assets without having to pay a dime in capital gains tax. This is huge. So Choice App offers more crypto assets than actually any other retirement app. They offer Bitcoin, Ethereum, Aave, Cosmos, Polkadot, Chainlink, Maker, Solana, Uniswap, Yearn Finance, and many, many more, and they will continue to add more in the future. You can hold your own keys. Their fees are low and highly competitive. You can hold and trade cryptocurrency with no capital gains tax. If you think that your Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other crypto assets are going to be worth a lot of money in the long term, why not put a portion of your stack into Choice App so that when you're ready to cash out, you will not have to pay any capital gains tax. Your future self will thank you. In my opinion, Choice is the best retirement IRA app on the market today for crypto holders. Use the link in the description and get $50 in free Bitcoin when you start your Choice app account today. Speaking of quality cryptocurrency projects, I know many people in our audience are fans of Helium, the decentralized wireless 5G network. The news is that Samsung, Qualcomm, back Freedom Fi, Helium's 5G crypto network partner, FreedomFi, raises $9.5 million to scale its decentralized network with Helium and trim the price of 5G gateway hardware. Let me know if you're betting on Helium. Helium's bet on building a decentralized wireless network to power Internet of Things devices appears to be paying off. With over 640,000 active nodes earning tokens around the world, now the project is expanding into 5G connectivity and its partner, FreedomFi, has just added allies like tech giants Samsung and Qualcomm in a new funding round. Big win for MetaMask. I know MetaMask is one of the most popular hot wallet interfaces for Ethereum. Ethereum wallet MetaMask passes 30 million users planning a DAO, planning a token, popular web3 wallet metamask continues to grow rapidly people looking forward to them becoming a dao people looking forward to them releasing a token we will keep you updated on this other piece of news the bitcoin subreddit our bitcoin has surpassed 4 million subscribers huge milestone people continue to subscribe interest continues to grow our cryptocurrency today has 4.5 million subscribers also growing as well Final piece of news, former Walt Disney CEO Bob Igar backs Metaverse startup. Igor joins Genies, an NFT digital avatar platform, avatar platform as an advisor on its board of directors. What blockchain are they using? The winner here is the Flow blockchain. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, like the video if you got value, and I will see you tomorrow.